everyone and welcome back to Catharsis Inc. So today I have another haul for you all and today's haul is going to be a mixture between some craft items and some decor items. So to get out of the house and all the mess from the uh, storm damage I decided to do a little retail therapy. Not that I should have but I did it anyway. <laughs> needed a little boost of serotonin but I stopped at Hobby Lobby, Target, and Michaels. So without further ado let's hop right into the haul. So we'll first start with Hobby Lobby and everything that I got today was either 40% off, 50% off, or on clearance. So the first item is this placemat and I really like the greenery aspect of this. I thought this would look really nice as maybe a center placemat on a dining room table or a coffee table. So originally this was $9.99 and everything in their spring line is 50% off right now. So pretty good deal. Next up, I needed a frame for a poster that I had purchased from the Victorian Trading Company. Now this poster didn't make it into the video that I had posted for that haul. So I'll go ahead and show it to you now. It was shipped separately, so that's why I wasn't able to show it to you. But it's this beautiful Victorian fall poster. Absolutely love this. So I wanted to get a frame for that. So in the clearance aisle, I was able to find this black frame. And originally this was $37.99 but I got it on clearance for $9.49. So that's a pretty good deal. And then I also picked up some wood items from the Wood Pile brand. And these items were 40% off. So I got some of these miniature frames and this is a pack of four and it looks like they're all different but I could do all kinds of things with these as far as crafting. I thought these would be really cute to put on the front of a journal cover and just do a little quote or a picture in them. You could make ornaments out of these. You can make little frames for pictures and uh, put a little kickstand on the back of them. So I thought that would be cute. So the original price was $3.99 for these. Then I also got some of these leaves and this is, let's see, there's 24 leaves and six different styles. And the original price was $3.49. Then I also found these little birdies and it comes with some branches. So let's see, it says birds and branches, eight shapes. So you get a couple different birds in there and a couple different branches. And this was regular price $2.99. Then I also found this little deer. I thought he would be cute for either the front of a journal or an ornament for Yule. And his original price was 99 cents. Then I found this cute little um, gaming whoops gaming controller I thought these were adorable they had a whole bunch of different characters and animals and this is um, the original price for this was 79 cents then I also picked up some of these antique bronze plated corners I thought those were really pretty I'm going to use these for the cover of a journal and this regular price was $1.99 and there's four of them in there. Then I picked up some of this E6000 glue and this was $4.99. I think this was the only thing that wasn't on sale. So $4.99 for this big of a tube, that's not too bad. Then. 
if you didn't watch, I, th I can't remember which video it was. It was a previous video, but I'm trying to get away from plastic containers. So I'm veering more towards wood um, bowls, plates, cutlery. So I found this egg holder. I thought it was so cute. And this was originally $14.99. So I got 50% off. And then I also got this wooden ladle. And this was kind of steep for one ladle. A regular price was $9.99, but I got 50% off. And this is, I'm probably gonna pronounce this wrong. Ass, no wait, ass. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not asswood. Okay. <laughs> Actually, just, let me just show you. This is what kind of wood it is. Oh, for Pete's sake. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, I'm so bad at pronouncing stuff. Okay. And then this one is a bowl and it's mango wood. And then this one also has little foam stoppers on the bottom. And then I also got, oh, let me tell you the price for this one. What was the, the original price was $29.99. So I got it for 50% off. And then I got this beautiful bowl. I love the engraving on it. So pretty. And this was originally $34.99. And all of these are food safe. So if you're looking at transferring your dishware into wood make sure that it says food safe and not decorative use only so that's it for hobby lobby so now let's move on to some things that i picked up at target so i also found a wooden bowl at target and this is part of the hearth and hand magnolia line and this one was only $19.99. Now, of course, I didn't get a discount off since it was from Target. But I think with Hobby Lobby's discount, it would be about the same price. So I went ahead and picked that up. Target is also getting out their Fall Scented Mrs. Myers cleaning products. So I got the Acorn Spice. This scent is my favorite in this line. So I went ahead and picked some up. And then I also picked up some colored pencils and I got the ones that say colors of the world. So it's all kinds of different skin tones. So you can kind of see what you're gonna get in there. Then in their dollar section, I picked up this really cool retro phone stand so it looks like a retro TV. I thought that was so cool. So I can put this on my desk as I'm watching YouTube videos and it'll look like a little TV. Thought that was really cute. And then I also got one of these clear drawers. Now I think I've hauled these before. I can't remember. They might be in my craft room. Yeah, I think that's where they are. They're in my craft room. But this one I wanted specifically for a first aid kit. Right now I have a basket on my kitchen counter that has some essential items in it. So, and it's kind of overflowing. So I want to do the first aid items in this. So band-aids, neosporin, a pair of tweezers, etc and then use the basket for different types of medicine like Tylenol, ibuprofen, cold medicine, and things like that. So that's what I got this for. And then I was super excited about this. I'm not sure if this is a Halloween preview item or not. This is the first time I'm seeing it, but look at this. <gasps> They're calling it, let's see, a one count cloche. So I'm assuming you can take this ball off and put whatever you want in there. So maybe do a faux succulent or a little scene in there if you wanted to with little uh, fairy characters. But this just reminded me of a crystal ball. 
especially with the hand. I thought this would be really cool to DIY for Halloween. So I picked that up and this was $5. So I got one of those. Now let's move into some items that I got from Michael's. So I, yeah, all of these items were on discount as well. So I used two coupons. I used a 40, uh, what was it? 40% off one regular priced item and then 20% off of your entire regular price purchase. So this one was on clearance. So this was $3 and it's the Americana Decor Matte Metallics. So I got some more gold paint. I use a lot of this because my uh, living room aesthetic is black and gold. So I picked some of that up and did I tell you the price? This was $3. Then I also needed some more bobbins. I've been doing a lot of sewing for Mimi and Papa recently. They've needed curtains done and flags done and things like that. And I realized I didn't have uh, any extra bobbins. So I went ahead and picked those up. This is a 15 count. And then I found some stamps in their little, if you've ever been to Michael's, they have like this small aisle in the front of the store that is like their dollar section. So I found these cute little forest animal stamps. So it has a rabbit, a fox, a deer, and a porcupine so cute love those so if you don't know already i am infatuated with anything tiny so i had to pick up some of these miniatures so i found this diy modern mini accessory set and it's three tiny plant books so i'm gonna add those to my little dollhouse and then I also picked up some of these and there's eight books in here. Thought they were so cute. And then also in the Clarence aisle, I found this cute little basket and it's got moss around it. I thought it was so adorable. It comes with a plastic liner and this one was on Clarence for $5. So I thought it'd be cute to put a little plan in there. Ah, oh, love it. So cute. And then this item, let's see, this one was 70% off. It was part of their summer line. So it's the Ashland summer line. Regular price was $19.99 with 70% off. So it was with all the little camping decor and stuff like that. And it came in three different colors. So white, orange, and I believe it was like a turquoise color. But I picked this up. Super cute. So we could do coffee in this or we could do tea in this. Then I also found a new coloring book. And this regular price was $12.95. And it's Nature Sweet Moments. 50 plus super cute designs to color and I absolutely love the designs in here. They are so precious. Look at this little bear looking at the berries. Isn't that adorable? So it's all kinds of different forest friends. So I can't wait to color these. I found that coloring has been really relaxing for me, especially since I suffer from anxiety. So I cannot wait to start coloring these. There's one for Thanksgiving. Super cute. Look at the little acorn. Love that. And then the last thing that I got for Michaels is actually, I think it might be part of their Halloween line, but it's the scrapbook paper. And these always go so quick, these scrapbook packs. So I found one called Midnight Garden and it's an entire witchy themed. So you got the little raven with the purple flowers, the moths with the moons and the, the bugs. 
Oh, I love it. So let me show you some of these pages because they're absolutely gorgeous. Let me take the uh, sticker off here so I can open it. This one actually has bats on it. Oh, isn't that so pretty? I love these. This would be perfect to use for Halloween and fall crafting. So gorgeous. Ooh, look at this one. Love that. And this regular price, does it say? $19.99. So super cute, can't wait to start crafting with that. But that is my entire haul. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, definitely give this video a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks guys, bye.